This is the eyepiece of the microscope. This is the course adjustment knob. It moves the eyepiece tube up and down to focus on the slide. This is the fine adjustment knob. It is used more for higher magnification lenses to focus on specific parts of the slide being evaluated. Slide adjustment knobs are used for moving the slide around the base of the microscope. There are three objective lenses located on the microscope, and each one is at a different magnification. These lenses can be rotated for viewing at a higher or lower magnification. The clamp shown is crucial for both holding slides in place and allowing them to be removed. Our microscopes have a touch light that you must press down on to activate. Be careful not to simply press down on the light without supporting it from below. This could break the light. You can alter the amount of light that comes up through the slide by adjusting this part of the microscope. This is a side view of the microscope. Proper handling of slides is crucial so that they are not damaged or smudged. Only touch the outmost edges of a slide. When placing a slide onto the base, secure it with the clamp. Now you can begin viewing. Once you find the image you are looking for, you can easily capture the image with your phone's camera and send it to your instructor. When you remove a slide from the base, always be sure to rotate the objective lens to the lowest magnification. This reduces the chance of damaging the slide when removing it, or damaging the next slide you place onto the base. Release the clamp and slowly move the slide away from the center of the base. It can then be removed. Properly caring for your microscope will make your experiments far easier. Cleaning lenses with the appropriate material is crucial to maintain visibility. Be gentle though. Oil immersion can be quite difficult and should be carefully done. First, you must remove an objective lens. We recommend the lowest magnification one. Carefully screw it off and place it in a secure place where it won't be exposed to much dust. Carefully screw on the oil immersion lens and use one of the other objectives to center the slide where you want it to be. Course adjustment should never be done when an oil immersion lens is being used. It can crack the slide or damage the lens. When you are ready to add oil, rotate halfway between the oil immersion lens and other objective lens. Carefully add one or two drops to the section of the slide you are viewing. Put the oil in a secure place for later use. Slowly, carefully rotate the oil immersion lens into place. It is intended to make contact with the oil. Do not be afraid of doing so. Once you are done with that slide, rotate the lenses back into their halfway position and remove the slide. Remove the oil immersion lens the same way it was put on and replace it with the old objective lens. Never leave the sockets that hold these lenses exposed, as dust may accumulate on the mirrors within them. Clean any excess oil off of the lens with the proper kind of material. Store the lens in a secure place for future use.